I know you guys. I know. Look, don't get mad at me. Let me let me do it right. Don't get mad, y'all. Where you been at? What we? <laughs> y'all know how I do. I get on this cam and I be all over the place. So hey, y'all. How y'all doing, girl? Look at this nasty old twist out. Yes, we'll get into this here in a minute. Um, hey, you guys. I do apologize for being gone for so long. When I tell you, your girl has been busy. I'm in busy. So this is a regular old, dirty old, nasty old chit chat. Y'all know how we do. We talk about what's going on in my personal life. What, how do we even do this? I, it's been so long, y'all. We talk about what's been going on in my personal life. We talk about what I've been watching on TV and what I've been watching on YouTube. So life update, you guys. Hold on, baby. Okay, I'm just looking at my email. First off, I have been extremely busy. I have been taking on additional work um, additional projects because I'm at a point in my life at almost 42 where I'm not planning anymore about my finances. Um, I want to get on the level of my husband. We need to be equally yoked when it comes to finances. I'm good, but I want to be on his level. This is what I mean. My husband has no car note, no student loans, no debt. Amen. Amen. So in order for me to get on that level, I need to be busting my behind only for two years, two years. And right now I've been doing it for about four months. So girl, what's the point? Just to let you know, I've been taking on additional work. And so I want to make sure that I A, pay off my debt and B, start saving and just pay off stuff in lump sums. And I'll be good. So that's what's going on with me. Family life is good. Um... <laughs> My husband, you guys, is not filling our area. He's not. And this is the reason why. Forney is a, I think Forney has experienced almost like 500% growth. It is absolutely ridiculous. A lot of people have moved here in the past four to five years. I mean, they are building schools. They are, they are building everything. The traffic is a little much. Um, if you go out after two o'clock, it's a wrap. There's no going to Dallas on a Friday night. It's a wrap. You can go on a Saturday before three, but even then, I think one time we went to a restaurant in Irvin on a Friday night and it took us two hours to get down there. Excuse me, y'all. It took us two hours to get down there. It shouldn't take no dang on two hours to get down to Irvin from Horny. Um, and so my husband works in Dallas and so his commute, it's about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. Um, yeah, he takes the 20 going all the way up there. So it's a bit much. I'm okay for the simple fact that to where I like living outside of Dallas and then having easy access to go up to my family. Um, uh, my best friend is just a few minutes away. Y'all, my best friend moved into our actual subdivision. She always lived in Farnia. That's the reason why we moved here, right? So one of the reasons, excuse me, my best friend moved actually to our subdivision in a beautiful house. And I go over there probably once a, once a week, right? We're going to be hanging out next week because school is out starting next week. We're going to be hanging out, going to the pool. So I'm excited. Let me get some of this girl. By the way. I ha this is going to be an impromptu mukbang. You know, I got Parmesan cheese and red flakes. You know what that's for? You guessed right. It's for pizza. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's coming along. Girl, school is about to be out. Where y'all sending y'all kids? Can I send JB with one of y'all? <laughs> Normally, I'm that mom that is like... In February, I know exactly where my child is going to be doing for the summertime. But I've just been so busy. Like I told you, it's been very transactional. Now I'm going on for a year. My life has been. So I've just been really busy getting things done that I completely forgot about summer camp. But girl, don't don't get it twisted. I immediately signed up JB for vocational Bible school, um, a STEM class that goes through the district here, the Forney district. And then I found a woman that does, not only does she does homeschooling, because I was actually looking into her for homeschooling, but she's a bit pricey, excuse me. She runs a school outside of her house. But she also does summer camp and she is very with it. And she lives in our subdivision too. So JB's gonna be hanging out with, with we're going to her camp because she has a boy that's JB's age. 
Um, JB is doing good. Like I said, it's his last week of school and my baby was, I'm going to try hard not to cry. When it comes to your kids, you know, you, 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 I be a gangster. I, I'm all, I'm, I'm a, I'm a G, but when it comes to your babies, JB was officially diagnosed with ADHD and I submitted for an IEP for, um, uh, special, special education with the district back in January and they've been busy, so this is not to drag them. You know, they've just been busy. The school, all the schools have been ridiculously busy. All these kids are, uh, anyways. So he was officially um, diagnosed as needing to have special education. Now it's going to be a little bit different because he is now in private school, and with private school, they don't have the ability to get all of those resources that you would get in a public school. But y'all, when I tell you the public school, Dallas can be trash anyway. The public school system, I think Frisco is up there. It, it's, it's hard. I know it's, it's cha a challenge countrywide, but Dallas is on another level. Um, Forney ISD was in the news. That, oh, 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 that little child. Have y'all seen the video of the little white child going over to the um, black people's house looking for the little girl and using a whip on the door. And then the father went to his father's house because the little boy had damaged their car. And as soon as I heard the mom said, our child don't even go to Lewis. I said, Lewis, that's the school here. That's the elementary school here. So that's the type of behavior we're looking at. Even though that, that family is racist, but when I'm talking about that type of out of control behavior, yeah, the kids are out of control. Absolutely out of control. My um, best friend and I want to go to the pool, but from what we understand, from what we're hearing, the kids are cursing, they're acting rowdy. So we're going to have to go to the pool early in the morning because these kids are, y'all, let me show y'all what I got. Am I the only one that dances when they get food? You're just greedy. I got some wings, honey barbecue wings. And then, oh, they smell good. And then I got, normally I eat veggie pizza, but I was craving. Yes. Oh, that's a good thumbnail. Um, pepperoni, green onions. No, green onions. Bell peppers, mushrooms, and some other madness. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle on this. I'm going to pray over my food. Or wing. Oh, these are hot. Hold on, y'all. My mouth is... is Mmm. Mm mm mm. And look. I don't drink soda, but I was craving a root beer. And that's what we got. Honestly, these wings could do some. I could put some um, hot sauce on it. I mean, you know, hold on. Let me get some. Girl, black people, hold on. I got me some Louisiana now. Look. I'm surprised <clears throat> Frank's is more popular out here than Louisiana hot sauce. I'm like, uh uh, give me my Louisiana hot sauce. So, yeah, y'all. Um, anyway, so back to JB and the schooling. So, I actually had a meeting with the I IEP and everybody else, the diagno diagnostician and his old teacher, um, here in Farney. And basically, yeah, my baby is dyslexic. I knew that from the immediately like a month after I started homeschooling him, like two and a half years ago. Um, and he has, I don't know the correct terminology, but basically his prox his ability to respond, there's a delay there. And I noticed that even when talking with JB, I'll ask him questions and there's a delay. And I'm like, what are you thinking about? Are you plotting my demise? What, what are you doing? So it's just, you know, a, a delay. His his IQ is high. Yeah, he has, a, he has an above average IQ, which I'm not surprised. Um, and that's not to knock, you know, I, I'm just not surprised, but he still has those delays. And so his school knows about it. His teacher knows about it. And um, once I get the official write-up, I'm going to send it to her. Yeah. I've already started contacting different resources to look that up and we're going to get him help you guys. Yeah. He's going to get help. Um, also going to start getting him help. Um, he's going to be speaking to a therapist because JB is exhibiting extreme, um, not extreme, but a little bit of aggression. Um, 
And it's to be expected, considering how many, the amount of changes we've gone through. And I really do wish that more parents will look into, oh, I really do wish that more parents will look into getting their children, especially boys, especially black boys, look into early intervention for getting your children help on how to regulate their emotions. That is so missing from the school curriculum. I honestly believe that. Let me say this. I'm not expecting teachers to, to teach our children how to regulate their emotions, but it would be helpful if there was something on emotional intelligence, <clears throat> regulation of your emotions, you know? <clears throat> Girl. That was a little too spicy, Vivian. Um, I've been busy visiting my friends and family. You guys, again, you saw some pictures that I shared. We went to one of the most famous parks in Longview called Teague's Park that has a cemetery inside the park. Girl, <laughs> I used to always talk about it to Jade, and he was like, Mom, Mom. I'm like, seriously, it is. My own, look. Check this out. My own parents didn't know about it. But as kids, we always heard about the stories. And back then, like in the 80s, there was a lot of grass. And <clears throat> I don't know what you say, but basically the cemetery was covered. You couldn't see it. You have to look through the woods and see it. Well, now, girl, they cut all that stuff. Now you can walk right up onto the graves, which I don't do. Well, recently, you guys, I used to work at the JCC here in Dallas before I left. That's the Jewish Community Center. And they were really like a family to me. And so one woman I became really close with, and she wasn't Jewish. Um, and not, not that it matters, but just to let you know, she wasn't Jewish. And so she at the time lived in Mesquite, right? And when I left here, she was probably, I have a napkin here. She was like 70, in her 70s. And so I will always look her up. Child was in the obituaries. I know, I was looking at a bitch race since she was still alive. Every now and then I would call her, but then six years ago, her phone got disconnected. Well, I, I, her phone wasn't working anymore, right? So I went to the JCC here a couple of weeks ago, right? A few people didn't recognize me because y'all have to understand, I was a big girl. Oh yes, I was fluffy. <laughs> and my hair is different, you know? And but you know, I caught some people that did recognize me, and I got. I said, "Well, I'm wondering what happened to Wanda. Is she still alive?" They're like, "Yeah, she's still alive. Matter of fact, she just had a birthday." I said, "No, no, like, yeah, she just turned 91." So I called her up, you guys, and I said, "Miss Wanda," she said, "Is this Vivian?" I I almost started crying. Like I'm like, "How do you?" Re she recognized my voice. She didn't, like, my number was new. Well, my number was new, but I hadn't spoke to her in years, and she immediately recognized. And when I tell you, I almost started crying, y'all. I was like, oh, my God, I love it. And she, so we had a little conversation. And so I said, you know what? I'd love to come and see you. And so I did. So this past weekend, me and JB went down. She lives with her, her daughter now. Her daughter is 60-something, but she has a son that's 71. Child. <laughs> And she's using a walker now, but she's doing good. And so they live, the child in some little small um, town near Ennis. There's so many little, little small towns in North Texas, y'all. You have to understand how big Texas is. There's all, there's a lot of little small towns out here. I'm going to get some of this pizza. So what's else going on, y'all? Um, what else, what else, what else? What I'm watching on YouTube, girl, not a thing. Holy nothing. Honestly, I'm not. Um, I was looking at divorce court a couple of times. And that's about it. Nothing. I'm noticing a lot of people are not posting as much. You know what I mean? A lot of people are posting shorts, which you can't even make money off of shorts. Well, I take that back. It depends. I should start doing it more because it get, brings more traffic to my channel. Honestly, but I 
of course, I'm going to go there about, you know who, I'm, I'm not even going to say his name, KS, Mr. Samuels. Hold on. I am not one to, I, I think it's very tacky, the amount of people that were going in, making fun and making light of the fact that this man died. But I'm going to say this, can you blame them, given the circumstances? I'm not want to do that because I don't want that type of stuff. Everything comes around, y'all. And that's honestly what I one of the reasons why I wanted to be careful about coming back and not just necessarily coming back, but protecting my energy. You understand what I'm saying? So <laughs> one thing that we can learn from this man's untimely death, one, be careful with the company you keep. You have to say a lot. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. I'm not going to talk too much on about this man, y'all, because everybody been talking about it. I think they kind of quieted down. Um, but lastly, and this is something that my husband and I both agree, agreed on about this man, is that you got to get your, your stuff in order. Like, when you, what was he, like 50, 56, 57? When you're that old, you got to have everything in order. I'm even looking at myself like, do I do I? I make sure I have everything together. I have my, you know, I have, what do you call it? Uh, do not recess your DNA, not your DNA, the DNRs, all of that. Make sure power of attorney, make sure all of that is in order. I'm going to cut And when my mom comes down in June, I know they're pretty good, but I'm going to make sure, reiterate, do y'all have your stuff in order? Do you have your fa your funeral plans in order? Because baby, I saw bits and pieces of that funeral, the live his mom basically used an old picture of him. So I could tell that he didn't have, he didn't have his stuff together. He didn't have his last wishes put together. You, you, you almost 60. You ain't got, use his mom was using, like I said, was using old pictures of stuff. Probably when she knew, when she, you know, this too, there was something, there was something about, him um, getting towards the end and I don't I didn't look at a lot of his videos I didn't have to look at all, all of them because just bits and pieces of it that was almost like a dark darkness surrounding it and I'm not trying to go there but honestly y'all I'm I'm somebody that can pick up real easily on that type of energy there was <coughs> excuse me a darkness surrounding that man bless his heart seriously I'm not trying to you know make joke of it um I think it's very sad that you you had to go out that way and your mama had to find out on social media. That's horrible. I, that really is. I am so sick of hearing about Amber Heard. I'm so sick of it. Like, every time I get on, somebody's doing a reaction video about it. They're talking about Johnny. They're talking about the judge laughing. Even the judge like looking child. <laughs> Some of the images I see of the judge, she's looking like, who the hell? Why the hell did I have to be here? <clears throat> One of my favorite movies. I, I like Johnny Depp as an actor. I really do. One of my favorite movies of him is Chocolate. Only because I I, I envision myself as that mom. Who open up that chocolate store and then this fine ass gypsy or whatever comes over and he seduces me, knowing that I'm a single mom with a baby and I'm trying to figure out his favorite chocolate. You can tell I've seen this movie a lot. I'm trying to figure out his favorite chocolate while trying to figure out his favorite chocolate. He was so fine in that movie. Johnny Depp unfortunately has not aged like other people that are his that are up there with him. And I get it. He's he's older. You know, not everyone's gonna look like. Brad Pitt, who I know he's had some work done. They all have. Well, even like Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Yeah. So even, you know, whatever. But what is that from? Was he on drugs, you guys? I know he was um, heavy alcohol. Girl, what have I been watching? I've been watching a lot since I haven't been doing any videos. Hold on. How many pieces of pizza did I eat, y'all? Yeah, I don't know. Hold on. So one of the thing, things I started to watch that had been in my list on Netflix for the longest was What If with Renee Zula or whatever. She looked actually pretty nice in this um this series. So this series was giving me indecent proposal. Uh but it was it, it wasn't like that, right? I was having a little anxious anxiety watching it. 
Um, there were some, some twists and turns. And overall, I really did like the series. Again, it's called What If? And it's on Netflix. Now, baby, the one that I was like, what? Candy on Hulu. Ciao. Y'all, I don't think I had enough pizza. Hold on. Spoiler alert. I'm going to be talking all about it because it was crazy. Baby, first of all, I wasn't sure. I didn't want to really go down the rabbit hole and look up the case because I wanted to watch the series first, right? So Candy is on Hulu and it's a true crime story. I know how I love true crime. It's a true crime story about a woman named Candy Montgomery who ends up killing somebody. So, first of all, it starts off very, it starts Jessica Biel and the brunette, she's chubby brunette, I forgot her name, but she played in that Stephen King series and she also played in Good Girls. I like her. She's a good, she's a good actress. I can't remember her name. I do apologize. Anyway, so first of all, the series starts off with Jessica Biel reading, you know, I guess she's doing like vocational Bible school, Sunday school services, and she's talking to the little kids, it seems like. Um, and then it cuts to her bathing and getting getting uh getting blood off of her. I'm like, oh my God, we are already we are already out of here. We already starting crazy, right? So the story goes back and forth. You gotta be careful. It goes back and forth. There's flashbacks, it goes to the future. Like two or three episodes in, it takes you back a couple of months previous prior to the murder. This happened in Wiley, Texas, which is about, what is it, about 30, 45 minutes away from Dallas. It's also where there's been some other, other murders. Y'all, these small town, small towns are something else. So Candy Montgomery was having an affair with her friend's husband. Child, first of all, Jessica Bill did a stand-up job. Anyway, Candy Montgomery was from Wiley, Texas. She was having an affair with her friend's husband. Child, when she had, I guess she had laid out a plan. She sat down, she had a poster whiteboard, to-do list, talking to the man, the person that she's having an affair with on the do's and don'ts of the affair. Basically, she's going to come in with some food. <laughs> Girl, I saw this. Oh, wait a minute. Excuse my language, but I'm like, wait a minute. You got to feed him when he giving you the peen? Normally, it don't work that way, sis. He 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 gives you the food if he's going to lay it down. I mean, I'm, unless you're my man, why am I feeding you? Girl, please. So she's like, I'm going to, you know, I can bring the food in. One thing is that once we start, if anybody starts to have feelings, it is over. That is it. It's cut off. The husband of the woman she she murdered, who I believe was a school teacher, he was on um, on a business trip, right? And he kept calling his wife and she wasn't answering. Calling, calling, calling. During this time, we know that she's dead. We don't know how it's happened, but we know that she's no longer alive. But what we don't know, at least for me, because I didn't want to look up the actual story, what about the baby? Because she just had a baby, this bubbly, beautiful baby, eight, nine month old baby. And so you don't even know until like the next episode when you hear the baby crying. And that poor child, <laughs> let's get to the murder girl. So I guess she had a older, well, she had a older child that was like six or seven years old. She was going to swim, swim lessons. And so Candy was going over to the house either to pick up the swimsuit or pick up something. And while she d was doing this, the uh, woman confronted her about her sleeping with her husband. She's like, it's gonna stop. And according to Candy, she picked up an ax and attacked her first. And I'm like, okay. So she got the upper hand on, on her, meaning Candy. She grabbed the ax and she hit her. Thinking she was, in, and the woman fell down. Thinking she was done. She hurt herself. She's good. She's walking out. No, the woman gets up. She's wounded, right? She manages to get up and still comes after Candy. That's when Candy was like, I don't know what happened to me. You know, something just came over me and I just grabbed the axe and I just, I just hit her over and over 41 times. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of scenes, a, a, a lot of gore and scenes that I can look at. But when I tell you during that scene when she was hacking at that woman, I was literally like this. I was looking around. I, no one was here. I was looking around. 
I was, I was rocking, self-soothing. I was rocking. I was like, are you 41 times? 41 times. She had, the woman was probably dead after the 10th one. 41 times is overkill. So this is, this is the T though. She took a lie detector test. And I think she passed it. <sighs> Y'all, this woman was found not guilty. Ain't that some shit? Not guilty hacking this woman 41 times. Now, with it being Wiley, Texas, it, it's small now. It was even smaller back then. Her lawyer said, Kenya walked out. I was like, all right, then, good. Now we can go back to our life. Do -do -do. You know what? I'm going to go to Target. Because <laughs> that was her thing. She said she, she was going to Target. I'm going to go to Target. But the lawyer said, you may want to consider leaving. And so that's what they did, y'all. She ended up, they actually ended up getting a divorce, which I'm not surprised. Her and her husband got a divorce. She ended up changing her name. She's still alive, living somewhere in the South, either Arkansas or Alabama. She actually moved to Georgia, and get this, she's a certified counselor now. So what, somewhere in the South, and she's still alive. I think that's absolutely asinine, girl. Another thing I watched was a, um, I just watched today, was a movie called The Paramedic. Now, you have to put on the, um, what do you call it, the subtitles, not necessarily because you could dub it in English, when I tell you, that's another one. Y'all, I love those hostage, uh, I'm obsessed with you, stalker-like movies. I don't know why, but I like those type of movies because that's real-life stuff. Like Jason walking around with a hockey mask. He been dead for 30-odd years. That's not real. But somebody stalking you in their wheelchair. Because <laughs> the guy ends up in the wheelchair, the boyfriend. That's real life. So I watched The Paramedic. I watched... Um, after that, I watched one called The Weekend Getaway, which was, it had some twists and turns. I thought I had it figured out towards the end, but that was a good one too. So I did enjoy that. So, so yeah, you guys, I know this is all over the place. I do apologize if you don't like food and I was eating. <laughs> Sorry, but I had to eat. Don't worry, baby. I will. Since I have everything set up in my hair, I didn't even talk about my hair. Just to let y'all know, this is an old nasty old twist out. She still looks good, but I'm going to have to wash my hair and I will be coming back hopefully in a couple of more days for you. It'll be a week um, and I will be reviewing some products for y'all. So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye.